This tutorial will explain how to install shielding in the connector portion of the CinemaVision transducer. Step one would be to locate the power supply and power the unit down. You confirm this by seeing no lights on the CinemaVision transducer. Then, remove the transducer from the transducer stand by lifting up and pulling out and placing on a flat surface. Now, remove the cover plates by loosening the screws. Now you want to disconnect the headset, the visor, the fiber optic cabling, and the power supply cable. Remove the power supply and the fiber optic cabling. Once you have done that, you can now take the transducer headset visor outside the magnet room to perform the following steps. After removing the transducer from the MRI suite, place on a flat surface. Now take the larger brass enclosure under and place it underneath the connectors but over the lip and flush against the side of the transducer. After that, you take the larger of the two copper pillows, place it underneath the two connectors, the visor and the headset connector, and on top of the brass, making sure that it fits neatly and packed in every single corner. After this, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, and you take the top cover to the connector portion of the transducer, remove the four screws that attach the logo to the top cover, and then secure the smaller copper bracket to the top cover using the four screws you just removed. After that is completed, you want to hook up your visor, taking care that none of the copper mesh gets caught into the connector. Connect your visor and then connect your headset. Again, taking care that no copper mesh gets into the connector. Take your last copper pillow, place it above the connectors and fill it in the sides and the gaps. Take the cover. You want to line it up, make sure it fits. Make sure the screws are lined up to the holes. And then finger tighten. After this, you are safe to take your headset, your visor, and your transducer back into the MRI room, hook back up your fiber optics and your power cable, and place your unit back on your transducer stand and it is ready to service the customer.